Hi everyone, going to take a look at the audio library block for Concrete 5. So, uh, really it lets you, lets you add multiple audio files and link them up together. You can skip. They're all linked together. You can also click on the titles. It's all very smooth. You can click to skip to a different position. Now, this part is handled in HTML, so if you want to edit it, you can. It's, it's going to inherit styles from your page. If you want to get rid of it, if you want to edit it, it should be easy to customize uh, with your own template or a little bit of CSS. The player is in Flash, but it's designed to use skins that actually require no programming at all. Um, so, let me see, I think I might have it open. So here is an example of the default template. Uh, these are all just objects in Flash. I can move them around, change the way that they look. It really doesn't matter so long as you use the same names. So for example, this is called title. Uh, this is called play button. This is pause button. This is next button. This is previous button. This is progress bar. This is uh, image placeholder. So if you drop the name, it will actually just skip that feature. So if you wanted to make a design that does not have album art. You could just get rid of it and the player will work just fine. If you didn't want to have next and previous buttons, you could get rid of those and it'll work just fine. If there's a feature you want uh, but it doesn't support, just let me know and I can help you out with that. So you really can customize the design as much as you want. If you don't have Flash, there's there are 30-day trials that you can use. Just customize to your own uh, <laughs> however you want and that'll work out just fine. Um, so the audio library works off of file sets in Concrete 5. So if you haven't worked with file sets before, uh, basically the idea is that instead of editing everything on your block, you would actually edit everything from the file manager instead. So I'll show you by, we'll edit this page and I'll edit the block See, the options we have here, we choose the file set and that's it. Everything about the order and the files we're selecting, their title, their description, all that data is actually handled from the file manager. What's cool about that is if you embed things multiple times in your site, you don't have to re-enter the data. Also, if you want to add a new file or change the order, you can just do that from the file manager and you don't have to track down any of your blocks. Um, it supports an RSS feed, which you can enable, disable, set the title and description. Uh, you can also set up podcasting. There's some extra, extra settings you would want for that if you wanted to add it on iTunes. Um, but, but those are really the options. You know, you can choose uh, whether it does display order, title, date. I'll show that in a minute. Um, so those are the kinds of options you can do here. You can also select a custom template. Uh, I've written a little bit more about how to create your own custom template on the documentation section. But you can just choose another theme here and it will update the player uh, using some, some example skins that I've created. So we'll go ahead and go up to the dashboard here. And I'll show you how the file sets work. So if I go to the file manager, first of all I can go to sets. And here I have a set called Audio Stuff. So with the newer versions of Concrete, you actually can create your own sort order. And that's what the display order value means. Display order means that it's going to sort based on your own custom order here, which I think is perfect for most, most applications, but you can also do title or date if you prefer. So you can set everything up here and uh, set up the order. But if you want to, uh, let me see, back to search, the default file manager view. So for any, any one file, you can click on it, select sets, and you can choose if it's a member of an existing set or a member of a new set. Um, so he, here it's a member of audio stuff. So anything that's on the audio stuff set is going to set up in my audio block, uh, audio, audio library block. You can also create a new set and obviously use a different block or set everything up. The other thing is if you go to properties on a file, oh wait, not replace, sorry, properties. So if you go to properties, there's a few things here we can set up. Uh, title, I could click title 
and I can set up my own title. This shows up in the player description. This sets, shows up in the podcasts. Um, tags, the media library uses that. Um, the audio library doesn't currently use that. Allow download is a custom property that's installed. Uh, allow download determines whether or not it will actually show up in the RSS feed. Uh, otherwise, the link for the file is the page for the block. So if you don't actually want to kind of broadcast those paths, uh, it won't be broadcasted. It won't end up in the podcast as a playable link. Um, there's also a custom thumbnail, and this value is what I'm using for the album art. So if you set a custom thumbnail for an audio file, then that will be the album art, and that will show up in the player. And that's really it. So if you wanted to add a new file, you would just come in here and upload a file and add it to the set that you're using in your block, and it'll show up on your page. So all in all, the uh, audio library is, uh, is easy to set up, and it's just a nice little player for multiple tracks uh, and playlists. I'll show you here the uh, exit edit mode. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So uh, hope you all have a great day. Have